Jan with Jan Patty Quilts and I do needle turn applique. And what we're going to focus on today is my quilt Little Houses from the Front Porch Fabric line. And I just love this little quilt, I really do. And we've already learned how to do windows. Uh, but what I realized as we started making this quilt is there are 48 windows on those little houses. Normally what you would do is trace them from the pattern, cut them out, and iron them to the back. And I thought to myself, oh, there's got to be an easier way. So let's go see what we can do with that. Okay, so here's our little house's little house, and it has four little windows. Now, normally, as I said, what we would do is, if we only had four windows for the whole quilt, trace the windows onto freezer paper, cut them out, and iron them to the back of a piece of fabric, okay? But there's 48 of them. That's an awful lot of drawing and cutting. And drawing and cutting isn't why I got into this. I mean, I suppose it's okay, gluing and pasting, but. So, what I came up with was I measured the windows, and the windows are three-fourths of an inch square. So I cut a three-fourths inch piece of freezer paper, and then cut the, free, the freezer paper into three-fourths inch squares. So you just go through and cut. You can use your rotary cutter, or if you don't like to do that, you can draw and cut with paper scissors. But any way you do it, you tell you have 48 windows. Okay, then I cut the fabric one and a half inches. Now that is, normally you do it one and a fourth if it's three fourths, but if you do it one and a half, then you have three eighths inch side inches on both sides of your window. And since you're folding this over and ironing and gluing, that really works a lot easier. So you then take this and cut this into one and a half inch squares and cut across there. So you end up with three fourths inch windows and one and a half inch fabric windows. Okay, now turn the freezer paper over. This is what we do with any kind of window. Turn the freezer paper over and iron it down, shiny side up, iron down one side with your trusty clover iron, or you can glue it. You're not going to take these out. And then the other side with the iron. Watch these irons, lady, they get really hot. And then take your glue. And once again, the reason I like this glue stick is because the tip is a fourth inch. You don't deal with the thing, with the wide one on a regular glue stick. And you know it's okay for your fabric. And then you iron that down. and you iron that down. Okay, and this, doing this 48 times is bad enough. <laughs> I didn't think of that when I designed the quilt, but I think it's so cute. Anyway, I think it's an awesome little quilt. There you have one very cute little window that you will then take and put on your quilt, an applique on your quilt where we did that, where we showed you how to space them and put it on is in the uh, big house quilt. It shows you how to glue the windows on with your Apple glue and use a ruler to make sure they're straight. So you can go back and review that if you want to. But this is mainly on how to do multiple little windows uh, instead of cutting each one out separately. Just measure the window, cut a strip that wide, cut your fabric about 3 8 inch on both sides uh, 
wider and glue it down. So we hope you've enjoyed this tip on lots of little windows in little houses from Jane Patty Quilts. Thanks and have a good day. Oh,